You should now have something that resembles this, which I like to call a woolly skeleton. So with my jumper, it wasn't overly thick. So I've done two layers or winding round twice of the leg, a little bit extra at the bottom. And I've just used a needle and thread to secure those. On the back part, I've wound exactly the same. I always start by, so this was um, this was my wool. I measure the strips, the width of the strips, and just cut a few out the same widths. So just have a look at the thickness of your jumper. If it's a really thick jumper, you probably only need one. So I did two on the legs, and I ended up doing three on the back. And then I just secured with some extra thread there. So these now are, you know, really manageable. You can reshape the legs if you need to do that. Um, all you need to do is just make sure that it, that it stands. The legs at the moment are going to look a little bit long for a sheep. But that's only because you're going to have the fur over there. So we want a nice effect with the fur. So that's why these legs are a, li a little bit longer um, at the moment, okay? So the next stage of this is gonna be adding the wool. So I always start with the body. So if you get whatever wool you're gonna use, um, if you're gonna use core wool, you're gonna use carded wool. As I said earlier, I'm using a Cheviot silver carded wool which means then I can go all the way down to the bottom of the legs. I'll use this for the, the face and for the ears as well. But it's entirely up to you, you know, use what, what you've got. Um, I think, again, when you start needle felting, you buy lots of different wool for lots of different makes. But if you've got a grey wool, if you've got a black wool, we're going to be covering it with fur. You know, you can opt. This is um, a herdy sheep, so I'm using Herdwick wool for this. But if you decide you want a white sheep, a curly sheep, you know, we've just done um, the make in in the summer newsletter on making your own curls and locks. So if you want to do that as a coat, that's entirely up to you. So this is your woolly skeleton and we're going to add the muscle on now next. So we're going to look at adding the muscle now to your woolly woolly frame. So I've got slithers here. If you've got um, carded wool that's in like in the sheets, um, don't worry, you, you know, that's that's fine too. I actually like to massage my wool a little bit before I use it because I always find that it actually needle felt so much better when, um, when I do that. Now I'm going to use a 38 needle for for this 36 would be good as well um but i always find a 38 is is a really good first kind of firming and and getting the shape now the only advice i would give you at this stage so we're going to start with the body is to actually i'm gonna just split this naturally where it's it's falling so i'll start here and just wind the wool round but do it tightly. You know, I mentioned earlier with this, if you've added the woolly jacket, if you've added the um, the pipe cleaners, they're really tight against the wire anyway. But this this was tight. So we're just taking that same process. You'll already see that that wool is clinging to that jumper. Now, if I'd have just been doing that just on wire, what you tend to get, is it slips and you feel like you've got to really hold it because it's quite slippy on there. So, you know, again, my all my workshops at the moment are very much based on beginners. So um, I'm just trying to show you easy, easy ways. So wind that around and just keep that tight, okay? And wind it around. Um, I love I love making sheep. Sheep actually, in terms of my commissions, are my most popular make, especially the Herdwicks. Um, so you know, I think everybody everybody loves a sheep. <laughs> 
so we just carry on going round. I'll get to the end and I'll just wrap that around and onto itself. Now at this moment, all I'm going to do, she says, can't find my needle, I'm just very gently poking. Now in my little beginners class, I always say poke, don't stab. Sometimes when I record these videos, I say stab and it's like, oh gosh, you don't stab. There is never more an important moment <laughs> than to poke because if you stab, then you're going to break your wire because at the moment you'll be able to feel that wire. So if you can see, I'm just doing a sideways poke. I'm just gently poking. Okay. So I'm not really felting that wall at the minute. I'm just securing it in place. Yeah. I'm just poking. So I'm just going to, for the purpose of the video, just stay with the top at the moment. But obviously we do felt underneath. But um, we'll we'll continue to do that as I add add the wool. Okay, so now I need to add another layer. I would start here again at the back. Bring that over, and I just secure this in place. And again, people have said to me, Sally, when you make your sheep, how how much how much do we need? So I've given you an approximate of what you need to use for this but you know if you want to do a fatter rather thinner sheep you're going to be adding fur um onto this anyway so i'll i'll leave that up to you obviously don't go too mad so i'm gonna wind that now round that leg and i'm gonna bring it over to the top and i'm gonna wind it round the other leg the top of the leg bring it to the top and then bring it round. Now you can see all the time that I did that, I did it quite tight. Again, a little bit of a slant and just a poke. You can hardly hear that ladies, hardly hear it. And if I turn that round, you can see how I'm winding that. Now, the reason that I'm showing you how to do it that way is it keeps it neat, it keeps it tight, okay? And you do exactly the same for the other side. So um, this is a summer newsletter that I'm doing this far. Hopefully you can get in your garden. Grab a, a piece of wool, get a little basket, pop all your bits in. That's what I'm going to do now. And just carry on. Just carry on with this body and build build your body up with this wool. Be careful of, the, of your needle in that, in that wire. And you can just, you know, just poke, just poke all over. So what you need to think about as well when you're doing this is if you keep adding, as we add on to the top, if we carry on winding that round, you, your back's going to be really high. Okay, so once you get that, on the top to the you know a size that you're happy with but we actually want to make the underneath a little bit fatter to give it a bit more of a, of a belly then all you need to do then is turn turn it over i'm going to call mine a sheet turn her over and then just get your wool so i'm just gonna pull bits of wool together here before I add it but literally I will be holding that in place and just poking okay because we want to we want to have a back that's not overly high if I'm making sense there okay so obviously I would carry that on until that's that's felted in place okay so you carry on doing that I'm adding your wool and it's what we're aiming for here is a, a bit of a rectangle sh shape on there now what's important with this is that it's chunky enough that we're going to be able to fell and add um, add the 
herdwick wool on top of this or maybe the curls if that's what you're doing and a really good way of knowing is when you fell with your needle and you do that gently now if i do that i know it's tapping the wire so i know i have to add more wool to it so use that as a guide for your you know you can add in little bits not big um lens we start off with lens because it makes it easier and quicker for you but you know you can add so if i wanted to add a bit more around there i'll just add that and i'll just felt it in okay so you keep doing that now we're literally at this stage looking at covering the top of the legs and covering the body like say if you want to add a bit more and felt that in for the belly you can you can do that okay and then i'll come back and show you how to do the legs hi ladies so you should now have something that resembles this okay and what you're aiming for is it's quite firm because the rule of thumb is if you're going to add anything at all to your make so in this case we're going to add um fur or even if you're going to add the curls this needs to be firm enough for you to felt and attach to it so what i want you to do is just have a little look and see you know is especially around this area is there sufficient wool on there or can i still feel that wire and you need to add add on to that i've come down just at the top of the legs and you can see we've got quite a nice shape there so again you know just that how you get these shape is just by keep adding little bits of wool and just poking it okay now what i want you to do is stand your sheep up and you can see on mine i've slightly bent the legs so if you stand your sheep up and you just press gently at the front outwards you can see there the feet are coming out and the ones at the back i want you to press them like inside so you've got a little curve again going in there and then i want you to just have a look and see does it look level i mean now that you've added the wool on it it's quite it's quite sturdy so you can twist it and turn it and again what you're looking for is just to have that shape with with the legs so where we've got a bit of a hoof coming out it's it's standing up perfectly that is not going to have to go onto a piece of wood it can if you want so the next stage now i'm going to show you how to do the legs before we add the neck and the head okay so we're going to look at adding the legs now i did actually think when i'd um i'd got to this stage with it oh that could be a new thing like a a herdy in woolly socks so um yeah maybe look look out for that it might be something that i might start looking at okay so the important thing about doing the leg so you've got this little bit of a shape now now remember with these makes these are whimsical makes these are not you know an exact sculptured um sculptured sheep you can do that if you want and advance onto that but again i'm doing this as a beginners however we can do a realistic leg so you will see here that i've begun to add some additional wool and that's that's pretty much if you think about it here it's like a a funnel shape so it's wider here at the top and we're going narrow so to get that illusion of the leg and the hoof we're going to go all the way down with the white by the way and then we'll add for the hoof i want you to imagine that funnel shape at the top and achieve that by wrapping the wool and stabbing and then just add small layers as you go along here what you don't want is the leg as fat as the top as it is at the bottom you can do that um i've used a wire armature here so i'm i'm looking for a more kind of realistic leg but if we hadn't done that and i actually did it on one of my herdy sheep i'll show you the underneath of him so he's just got little stubby 
stubby legs. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And you will have seen on some of my videos where I use a cocktail stick and a barbecue stick to actually make um, make arms. And I did it on the, um, the hair, the coronation hair in a teacup. But for this one, I, I want to show you how to achieve that look. So funnel shape going down into thin. So this part is where you're going to have to be careful with your felting needle because you're not going to have an awful lot. Now, obviously doing this with the jumper really helps, but just make sure, see how I'm holding the needle and we're doing it sideways. So try and felt, again, it's only the bottom barbs on this needle that are actually felt in anything. You know, that's people go right in up to here and it's like, well, it doesn't do anything, it just damages your needle, okay? So we do it sideways. So you will add little bit by bit. So I've just got a small piece there. I'm going to wrap that round, wrap that round. And I'm just going to gently poke. Now I can feel when I'm doing that, I can feel that wire. So just be careful, ladies. It is something to take your time with. Okay. So while you're doing this bit, because we're still using the white, have a look at the belly area. You know, like I'm quite happy with the shape of that. But if you're not, just add some more wool onto there. And the same with the, the you can decide. Now, I've kind of decided that this is the front and this is the back. I'm happy with that back area. But here on the chest area, if you wanted to, just take extra wool. And you can pop it there and just add that and again just felt that in. Now all of all of this will help with shaping but it'll also help you when you come to attach your fur okay. So with your legs just carry on. Less is more okay. You can add to but you're going to damage your make if you take that away. So Again, you can see there, it's only a small, a small amount. I'm doing that quite tight. If I fell up here, just gently poke, felting upwards, then I'm not going to see a join on there. Now, if for any reason you start going a bit too fat here, you can always add a bit more on there bit more near the top just so remember easiest way a funnel at the top and then you're going quite slender all the way down okay now when you get to these ends just show you with with this I tend to go all the way down the leg and then do here but I'll just show you for demonstration purposes so I was doing the hoof I would wind that around now the most dangerous part in terms of your needle is here at the end so again just very slowly poke get some wool on just poke it in once you've secured that you can add what I don't want you to do because this this you're gonna have to take your time with at the bottom here I don't want you to just do that then get a big piece of wool and add it on because all that you're going to end up with is like really big blobs of wool that you're going to really struggle to felt because you're going to have the wire there. So just a little bit, let me show you again, just a little bit at a time. It's worth with that first layer to do it tightly. So to pull and do it tightly just very gently and you'll think mm, what's the part of that Sally you've hardly got any wool but this is how you build you build up a bit more wind it round when you come to the end you can fold that and just felt felt it in place 
and then very gently. So this is where you're going to have to keep holding. Let's come loose a little bit. Just hold it while you poke it. And once you've got one part in and you're happy with that, move it round. Okay. So take your time with them. You've got four. Um, you're never going to get your legs exactly the same. They'll be like each other, but never exactly the same. What's important with this make is that it stands up. So just be careful. Don't be too heavy handed. At the moment, mine stands. Once the wool's on, you're going to be able to move the legs. You know, that's a good thing about an armature if you wanted to pose something, but you can move the legs closer, further apart. You'll still have an opportunity to bend these at the bottom. So it's just just to be careful, really, as you progress with a make. It's, you know, you, you don't want to spoil the work that you've done. So I'll carry on with that, um, with the legs. And then I'm going to show you how to do the neck and the head. And like I say... You can add a little bit more at the front here that's going to help you with adding the neck and also with adding the fur that goes underneath there. Any little divots, anywhere where you think, oh, actually, I can see, um, especially around the leg area, I can see a bit of the jumper there. Just add, just add to it. Okay, ladies, 